Hey guys, it's Mike Park, back again with another video. And today we're going to talk about the school facilities students can use and my personal experiences that I found interesting. Before we get started, I would like to say Happy New Year's to you guys. Since today is January the 1st, 2022, the year of the tiger. Hope this new year brings you a lot of joy, happiness, good health, and indeed wealth. With that being said, let's get started. First is the transportation services. In my video, I briefly talked about the school shuttle system. I won't talk about it in this video, but those of you interested in the shuttle bus, go check on the first video for more details. I'll attach the link at the end of the video. Apart from the shuttle bus system, the public bus number 48 and 108 comes into the school campus. This comes in very handy since it allows you to transfer to the subway station or go to Daejeon train station. I usually take this route when I'm going to Costco. I usually take the 108 bus and transfer to Walpyeong station and get off at Oryong. From there, it's a 10 minute walk. I personally think it's really convenient. Second, it's the convenient facilities within the dorm area. Our school has a variety of convenient facilities within the dormitory area. Since a majority of foreign students are going to be staying in the dormitory, I thought it would be right to start with what's inside the dormitory grounds. First, there is the cleaners. The cleaner is right in front of dormitory 3 and does all sorts of dry cleaning, shoes, and even blankets. It's relatively cheap and it's very useful especially in the monsoon seasons where your shoes get stinky due to the rain. Dormitory 3 has the gym that I mentioned in the last video. Under dorm 10, there is the dorm cafeteria, convenience store, and a coffee shop. Third is the first student union building facility, or in Korean, Jeil Hakseungheugwan. People mainly go here for the cafeteria, famously known for its arilbap, but we also go there for the banks, health care center, drug store optical store, and bookshop. So students would normally eat lunch before they need to buy something to save time. Fourth is the sports facilities you can use. The advantage of our school is that it's so big that even the sports facilities are very spacious. We have a golf driving range indoor running gym, futsal practicing grounds, a running course, and many more. We even have 14 tennis courts, including a clay court. All of these facilities are open to students, school workers, and even to the locals. The price is very cheap. I'll put a picture indicating the rental prices of the facilities. So what do you think? Were some of your questions answered? Feel free to comment down below for more questions about our school. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to my upcoming videos and hope you stay safe.